This amazing abandoned water park in Missouri has been closed since 2007 and was once known as the Swimming Hole. Huge water slides, cliff jumps, pools, tunnels, and a giant lazy river snaking around the entire park. But in 2007, a young boy drowned in one of the pools here, and that death changed a state insurance law which ultimately forced the closure of this water park. And although it probably will never be a water park again, this massive maze of concrete has found new life as an airsoft battlefield called Wasteland. And fortunately for me, the team is taking advantage of this downtime to do some cleaning. And I was invited to take a look around the park so I'm going to take you with me and show you what this amazing place looks like now. Oh wow, there's some huge fish in here. This thing is dead, but it is huge. Looks like a catfish. So instead of playing right now, they're just taking this time and cleaning some things up, getting rid of some of the garbage, burning some of the debris. The owner actually lives right here, right next door. And I mean, what else can you do with this place? It's not gonna be a water park again. So I think the airsoft is a fantastic idea. Going up these stairs to see what it looks like up here. Look at this. Oh wow, look at that, look at this slide. <laughs> look, you just slide down here and then it just drops off. Probably 10, 12 feet down into the pool. Into that nasty green muck. <laughs> the Dippin' Dots story. I guess they sold Dippin' Dots here. You can kind of see that this rock has definitely had a lot of handprints on here. Kids leaning on it, waiting for their snacks. What an interesting place. I feel like I'm in, the, in bedrock, the Flintstones. this was but my fan has definitely seen better days and this would have been the concession stand you can see where the drinks used to be stored so these wooden barriers that you're seeing are obviously for the airsoft battles but these giant mushrooms are original to the water park this area was for children so this would have had a shallow bit of water in it. And uh, there are some faces in some of the stems, all different expressions. <laughs> this one is stoned. <laughs> These weird rooms. Oh wow, how far does this go? It's kind of cool, it's like the inner workings are really Get a chance to see what the inner workings of a water park are. You know, normally you're just walking around on top, going down the slides. I don't know if this was a part of the water park. I guess it could have been. It's pretty finished. Random wheelchair down here. I think there was possibly a fire at some point in here. This 
stuff just looks charred. It has a little bit of a fire smell. Uh, probably the main controls were in here. These big pumps. Look at these things. Oh yeah, okay, look, still water flowing through these. Yeah, it looks like may have been some homeless people living in here. Huh. Oh, this is a long tunnel. See so if I can get a light on my phone. This is where I'd be in the airsoft, the airsoft battle. I'd be in these tunnels back here, sniping people. Huh. I believe this area was unfinished. Uh, this was being built right in 2007 when uh, that young boy drowned here so any kind of construction stopped at that point which is why it looks like this look at this though with the rebar in here and it's really interesting to see how this was created you know the spray cement makes it look like like real rock natural rock Walking inside the lazy river now. Now this thing circles the entire water park here. Don't think about this as an old water park. Think about it as an airsoft battlefield. This is pretty cool. I mean, this is like the trenches here. You know what I mean? Running around, protected, camouflaged. What an incredible time. The amount of work and money that the owner put into this place is unreal. Look at this. This is like a little grotto in here kind of hang out in here so cool or you could have played some basketball with your friends look at this this is a fake tree stump AT plus KC I wonder if that's uh, the owners it looks real from five feet away Maybe bathrooms? Oh wow, this is crazy. It actually looks pretty real. Continuing up. This is one of the highest sections of the park here. This slide, you can go either way, which is pretty cool. And they cross over each other and end up down, down in the moat. 
with the fish. <laughs> and you can see the guys over there working, burning some debris. And uh, I think the only higher area are the giant water slides over there, which I am definitely headed to. I'll be getting up there for sure. This slide is on the very back of the park, and it looks like you probably needed a raft for this one, or some sort of tube. And uh, I think if you follow this down, let's see, let's follow this down. Yes, it goes all the way down, and you would slide right through the mouth of the hippo. <laughs> the tube slide so this is the tube slide this is the the big draw here these two slides up here are definitely the biggest in the park I have no idea how tall these are but they're pretty tall a lot of stairs going up here This section was being built in 2007 when the drowning happened. I think the actual tube slide was open. Uh, I think the one that they were actually working on was just a regular open slide. Here are the two slides up here. I think this one was never finished. This is the one I was talking about that I think was never finished. And then this was the actual tube slide. This is the one that the kids were, could go on. A lot windier up here, that's for sure. Great view of the whole park. This place looks like it was a lot of fun and it's so unfortunate what happened, but it, it's good that new people can enjoy this place in a completely different way. And uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully in the future seeing some cool airsoft battles go on in this place. That's for sure. So that's it. That's the tour of the sort of semi abandoned water park. I'm going to put the link to the airsoft company, the guys that hang out here and, and uh, play games here. Because if you're in the area, you should definitely come and check them out, watch them play, maybe get involved. Thanks to these guys and thanks to the owner for uh, letting us walk around. He guards this place pretty closely, which is probably why it has very little vandalism. So, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.